morning. Today is, let's see, what is today? Today is January, hmm. gosh, it's January 14th and time for another weekly update. So, today's topic is speaking to the pain and it is uh, my next segment in this series on uh, dealing with anger and unjustifiable anger, well, all sorts of anger that many of us feel coming up uh, these days, especially as we move closer to 2012. It seems like the vi vibration of the earth is increasing and as you know in physics, when you have two vibrations, two frequencies, one higher, one lower, the lower one always pulls a higher one up. And so of course anger is at a lower uh, vibrating, is, is, is a lower frequency than the planetary frequency now which is, um, I understand it's peaking around 13.2, it kind of changes, uh, but it's definitely going up, and uh, so it's pulling up all that anger that we have stuffed inside of us. So many of you are concerned about uh, expressing the anger, and we talked about that in the, in the two updates on, on dealing with anger, and, and you're also afraid of the consequences of expressing the anger. Well. I talked about the importance of doing apologies because if you know how to do a correct apology you can heal any damage done by expressing anger and as you have, as we've talked about in the previous updates you've got to express the anger because it's going to come out one way or another so either you it comes out consciously and you handle it or you know it comes out passive aggressively and it really does a lot of damage to your relationships so what I want to talk about today was how to speak to the pain and the apology now for those of you who have not read my articles on apologies, uh, on apologies, I suggest you go and read it. It's the third segment of the Handling Anger, the Multidimensional Way series. And we talk about um, the most effective way to heal a conflict from, uh, that occurs from expressing anger is to speak to the pain. So what I mean by that is when you do, what, do an apology, you clearly define the pain that you feel you might have caused uh, to the other person. For example, if you, like I talked about uh, moving away from my daughter and for three years when she was very young and going to California and how she was very angry and hurt that I had done that. Well, just to say the words, I'm sorry, doesn't cut the mustard. It did not enable her to, to clear the, or release the pain. So she kept bringing it up over and over and over again over the years and couldn't heal from it. And finally one day I realized, I mean back when I was doing it, I didn't realize that I needed to speak to the pain. So now when I, once I did, I was able to, once I got her in a position where she could finally feel safe enough to, to, to express it again, uh, I was able this time to speak to the pain which enabled her to heal it. So what I did was I said to her, I am so sorry for abandoning you and making you feel like you weren't important. Um, I'm sorry for the pain that it caused you, the fear, the anxiety that it caused you, and you know you deserve better. And and I know that I can't make up for those years that we lost, but I'll, but what I can do is make certain that the years that we have ahead are very precious and and satisfying and healing for both of us because I do want you in my life. This enabled her inner child to go and find that pain and finally release it because the words that clearly defined her pain were abandonment, rejection, feeling like she wasn't important and that I didn't want her in my life and anxiety and fear that she felt. So the, the, the reason why this is important is because our inner child catalogs all of our pain in, in, in like little folders I guess you could say and if she's going to clear something she has to find it or retrieve it based on the label so the label is the definition of the pain such as abandonment, betrayal, rejection, I don't feel uh, like I'm important all these are the labels on the folders or the little areas that hold the pain so when you speak to it that way she goes okay I'll, uh, you know, I can find it now so she runs and she finds it pulls it out and consciously brings it up for you to release it's amazing how things change when you clearly define the pain. Now, to do that, the other person has to clearly define how they feel. So I had to, with my daughter, get her to the point 
where she felt safe enough to me to really define how she felt. And I asked her, well, how did that make you feel? Which is something we don't usually ask. Well, how did, how did that experience make you feel? Or how did what I do make you feel? Uh, because we don't, you know, we don't know what to deal with the pain when we do. But uh, if we have the courage to do that because we know how to clear it, uh, they can finally define it for us. Because the thing is, they, you, they can't release it unless you can define it. And you can't define it unless they tell you what it is. So sometimes it takes a little bit of probing on your part to really get them to define the exact nature of the pain. So when you do that, and you apologize, and you speak to it, and you don't defend, you just you just you know say what you did um, they're able to clear it so I hope this has helped you um, we'll be talking more about this in the emotional clearing workshop coming up in March because uh, if you do end up going to that workshop you will have a chance to work through about two or three years of stuff in, in four short days and I will really help you with clearing uh, conflicts and learning how to go back to your family and friends and heal a situation permanently by, speak, by uh, speaking to the pain. Um, other things that are coming up I wanted to just alert you to is we're going to be doing the Countdown to 2012 workshop. I know many of you are very interested in that. And there's going to be one in Minneapolis, February 9th and 10th. There's going to be one in uh, Laguna Hills, California, just south of Los Angeles, uh, March 1st and 2nd. So look for those. I will also be attending the uh, New Life Expo in San Francisco the end of April.